That was absolutely amazing, yeah. I've never driven anything like this on a track, so it's superb. That speed and that, that performance of engine, smuggling. The feeling of get, being able to get the car to glide around the corner, it's just amazing. That was quick, a bit scary when I nearly spun it, but stayed it, kept going, so that was good, it was all fine. I've never done a track day before, so I'm buzzing at the moment, I'm really buzzing. I need to be out there. <laughs> Terrifying. <laughs> but I couldn't go any slower. I had to keep going faster and faster and faster. It was just absolutely awesome. A SharePoint performance is really important because it really affects the uh, user adoption. Performance is obviously one of the key factors to keep your users interested in using SharePoint. Lots of people now are used to the internet and uh, page response times of one and two seconds. People are used to systems working very quickly. When they submit, enter or press something, they want something to respond straight away. Yeah, the system's got to be responsive, the navigation's got to be right. It's got to be consistent as well, you know. If, if suddenly something which worked really well before is slow today, users will be back on the phone and they, and they start to lose confidence in their platform. People have very high expectations about software these days. You expect it to work quickly and you expect everything to work very intuitively. Shepard doesn't always deliver that sort of experience. Poor performance can really affect people's first impressions of the system and obviously you only get one chance to make a first impression uh, and even to the extent that it can actually affect user adoption. With users that are getting slow performance then they're far more likely to resist using technologies like SharePoint and will often look at other ways of sharing documents like email or file shares or even external applications like Dropbox. Making sure that performance is there is a real critical part of making sure your end users are happy and they get value from the solution. And that application performance tools really, really add a lot of value and insights into that. Do appropriate monitoring and that means all the way down the chain from the infrastructure through the bits of wire that connect things up through to the front end where the browser is and then the user. If you haven't monitored a lot, you don't really know where the problem is. There's a lot of great tools like the application performance tools that will help you do that and, uh, and be able to pinpoint exactly what the issue is with performance. Xprize uh, have a product called Cloud Ready which we've partnered with. Um, Xprize helps pinpoint the root cause of a problem by actively testing from multiple locations. Um, you can then compare yourself to the crowd so you can see if you're having a problem whether other Office 365 users are also experiencing that same problem. That's one way to quickly see whether it was the Microsoft end that had the issue. Um, but the sensors can then also help you pinpoint whether it's something on your local network like DNS or Active Directory or whether it's your network provider that's having the issue. Often people have a, a vague sense of whether the system is performing well or not. But if you can back that up with metrics about the performance for different parts of the site, different users in different locations, then it makes it much easier to identify where the issues are and to address them. If you don't provide that level of performance, users will go away and they'll use something else.